Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Amy Esther here and in today's video I want to share with you about a new treatment that I'm going through which is an upper cervical chiropractor. Oh, there's so much to share with you today. Um, I took my camera the first couple of days after just to share with you in real time kind of what it felt like and what I was going through and if you guys are interested in more about upper cervical chiropractor like what is it and just just more like details of it let me know in the comments below and i'm happy to answer any questions you have in an, an, another video so just leave me any questions that maybe i leave on like uh, open or unanswered because there's just so much to what i've been doing that it's hard to like get all in one video so let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions If you're new here, I'm Amy Esther and I have several chronic illnesses, one of those being chronic migraines. And I had heard about upper cervical chiropractor a few years ago, but I had been to so many doctors, I've tried so many things that I just was kind of sick of it. I was just done. I just didn't find a lot of help from so many people that I just thought I can't spend more money, I can't spend more mental energy and more time. I just need a break. And so I took a break ended up having two kids and decided after I had my second that I wanted to try this upper cervical chiropractor again. My migraines were getting worse after my pregnancies and it was kind of the one thing that I hadn't really tried yet. I mean, I'm sure there's other things out there, but I've tried a lot of things. And so I went and it turns out that the top two bones in my spine, which are the axis and atlas bones, we'll just pretend that this is the top one, this is the bottom one, atlas and axis, that they're supposed to be even on your neck, right? They're supposed to be facing this way. Turns out mine are, this one's turned this way, this one's turned this way. So they are twisted where they should not be. And because of that, it's probably caused a lot of problems. Um, and especially my migraines, we think that a lot of my migraines are coming from that. Now my chiropractor has told me that for normal like misalignments of uh, the upper, so upper cervical chiropractor deals, they mainly deal with the top two bones basically. But again, if you have more questions, I'm happy to answer more later. Um, I'm just mostly focusing this video on kind of my experience with it and the physical symptoms that I felt. So most people who um, are misaligned just from kind of day to day life, uh, stress and whatever else can cause you to become misaligned both of theirs will turn the same way so they'll be misaligned but the top and the top two bones will be turned the same way mine were turned opposite ways <laughs> so it's pretty bad and he said in order for that to happen you needed to have been in some kind of accident like fallen on your head or been in a uh, kind of a major car accident and I realized that I was in a car accident 10 years ago that I totally forgot about. It was one of those things that happened and at the time it was really scary and I was put in an ambulance and taken to the hospital um, and then they just said, well, it looks like we don't see anything that's, you're, you're not about to die, you're not bleeding out, so just go home and uh, we, if it gets worse, come back in. Kind of what they always say, right? Um, and little did I know that it had misaligned these two bones and I started to connect that wait a second I was in a car accident at the beginning of high school my migraines all started in high school but I never connected those two that like my migraines were from my car accident and because I have so many other chronic illnesses that started years later I just kind of threw my chronic illnesses or my migraines in with the rest of my chronic illness bundle that I have going on and I kind of just thought they were all I mean I think that everything's related in some way but I would blame my migraines on some of my chronic illnesses when I think the major thing was that these bones were misaligned. Will it fix other things that I have going on? Is it because of this that I have my other chronic illnesses? I have no idea. I do know that I was in the car accident 10 years ago. The rest of my chronic illnesses started about five years ago. So who knows? Maybe because it was misaligned, it started a snowball effect that made me go crazy. I don't know. Um, but Anyway, I went in to get my first alignment and that was the worst day. It was so, so bad. I just didn't really know what to expect. I thought, from what I'd seen of chiropractors, they do like the 
right? The like the cracking and stuff. That is not what upper cervical chiropractor is like. He, it's a tiny little like probably like the size of my finger um, machine. You lay down, lay down on this thing. They put the little needle there. This is a terrible representation. You should just Google it. But you lay down, and they put this thing there, and he moves my head into the right position, um, and then there's this loud pop and he says it's done and that was it and then they sit me up and yeah it that's all that's all it was so let me share with you the first couple of days what I felt um, and just in real time because going back it's always different you know you always remember it differently when it's been a month or so so this is about a month ago let me share those first few days here hello my friends uh, I just got back from, not just got back, but a few hours ago, got back from the chiropractor, which is why I'm wearing this neck brace looking quite cute and awkward. Um, but I had my first upper cervical chiropractor appointment. Well, my second one, but my first adjustment. And it definitely went different than I had really planned or what I thought and I got extremely sick so I know the lighting is terrible here I just look terrible but um, I could not get my light out like I literally can't lift it up so we're just going with this crappy lighting today <laughs> so after my first appointment I felt not that different right after basically my chiropractor said you might feel different after um he made it sound like i would feel different after but i didn't feel that different like i felt a little looser he he poked this spot on my neck that before was tender it wasn't tender anymore but after he did the first adjustment it like really wasn't that much of a change. I just felt like a little looser. Um, I felt maybe a little dizzy and lightheaded, but not like anything more than I'm used to. So I was just like, okay, I guess that's it. That seems weird. It didn't do anything. Um, and then I went in, laid down for about 10 minutes. Have you lay down before you leave? And I went to pay and the receptionist told me that she had this done she was in a very bad car accident and she had this done and the first time she was super dizzy could barely walk straight she just got so sick after and I was like okay I guess mine wasn't nearly as bad as hers um, and so I guess I just maybe this isn't gonna work for me if I'm not feeling different after this but I left and I drove home and I called my husband I called my mom I just kind of like updated them on things and I was like okay well this I guess like it went good there was a really bad um, my scans didn't look good so I was like well I guess it's gonna do something we'll see and I was about halfway home and I just started to get super dizzy and the drive was about an hour away it was about 45 minutes from my in-laws who were watching the kids so an hour from my house, 45 minutes from the in-laws, and I was driving home, and about halfway home, I just started to get super dizzy, and I just got worse and worse as the closer I got to home. The longer the time went on, I started to get dizzier and dizzier, but not enough yet where, like, I still felt like I could drive home, but I started to just feel, like, sick, and, like, I was gonna throw up, um, and I was like, well, maybe I just, like, didn't eat enough. I need to eat more food, and I was just feeling, like, lightheaded and stuff. And then I got home, well I got to my in-laws who were watching the kids, and I um, had my brother-in-law and sister-in-law were actually, like had just got home, and so they were walking in right when I was, and so I stopped and talked to them, and I just like got up, walked out of the car to talk to them, and I like almost like fell over because I was just so dizzy, and I don't think I realized how dizzy I was until I actually stood up, so I was sitting. So 
then I go inside and I just get dizzier and dizzier and like as the time gets on I just realize like okay I can't drive my kids home now I'm gonna have to stay here luckily I actually had it done on New Year's Eve day so everyone was home like um, my in-laws were having a party that night so it actually worked out really good because I had people there to help me with the kids um, and I also I'm still nursing and so well, it was just an adventure but basically everyone else watched my kids and helped me um, do everything basically. I even had to have someone walk me to the bathroom if I had to go to the bathroom because I was going to pass out. I, like if I did not have someone like helping me move or like going slowly, I was gonna pass out because I was so, so dizzy. Um, and then I have this headache that started and I still have that headache. I still feel very dizzy. Now it is seven, it's almost 8 p.m. And the, I got it done. My adjustment was done at about 12.30. So 12.30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's been about seven hours now. And, oh geez, that hurt. I don't know what I did. And the dizziness is better, it's not gone. I still feel very, very dizzy, but not nearly as much as I did like, maybe like two or three hours after it happened was the worst of the dizziness. But my head is just pounding. Oh, it's pounding so much. My head hurts really bad. Um, my neck is actually starting to hurt now. Like, it's starting to get sore back there. Um, and I just feel, like, very fatigued, very tired. Like, my whole body just feels tired. So, that was my first chiropractor adjustment. And I feel terrible, but I think that's a good thing because it means that my body is trying to adjust to this new adjustment, I guess you would call it. <laughs> my body's trying to adjust to where my spine is supposed to be instead of where it's been. And so it's struggling right now. My body's like, what? There's blood flow to my head. We've never had this before. <laughs> so I'm feeling so sick. I'm nauseous. My head is just pounding. It's hard to keep my eyes open. I should probably go to sleep. My neck is starting to hurt. My body hurts. Everything hurts. It's a super crappy video, but here we are. So anyway, um, I guess I'll let you know how the rest of it goes. Okay, you guys, day two after my upper cervical chiropractor adjustment. My very first one was yesterday around noon. It is now 8 p.m. Uh, the night, the day after my first appointment. So um, today I actually thought I would feel better than I did because... The first three hours yesterday were the worst. It was super, super awful. And I know the lighting here is terrible, but we're just going with it because I, that's, that's the, the day today. Anyway, so first three hours were terrible. And then I felt, I talked about how I felt after that yesterday, but today I'd say I almost feel the same as yesterday, like not any better. Um, like it just doesn't seem like it's gotten better today. I've been up and down all day though, so my main symptoms are just a, like so tired. Like my body is so tired, my muscles are so tired, and I feel just still very lightheaded and dizzy. Not as dizzy as I did right after I got the um, got it done. The first like three or four hours was the worst with the dizziness, but I still feel like not not myself. Um, and I've had just like an aching headache all day. Um, and I took some ibuprofen and I found that it made my aches, my muscle aches, my body aches, and my headache better. And I didn't realize until after it started to come back again, after the ibuprofen started to wear off, that I don't remember the last time I took ibuprofen and it actually made my muscle aches and my headache feel better, like all the way. Like maybe it helps a little bit, but like, I don't remember when it last made me feel that much better. So I'm kind of excited. I'm hoping that that's a sign. It wasn't just a coincidence that something's happening. Um, but I'm definitely back to a low point again before bed. So I did take more ibuprofen. Um, but the top of my neck and shoulders is getting really sore tonight. And that's actually what I expected. I thought I would just feel sore where it got done. I didn't think I'd feel like actually sick, like nauseous and fatigued and tired. And like, I didn't think that all of these other symptoms would happen just from getting that done. I've been super careful. I've tried not to lift my baby. 
um, much at all today. I nursed him, but I have my husband bring him to me. Luckily, it is New Year's Day, so he had today off. And it's Friday, which means tomorrow he has off and Sunday he's off. So I picked a really good day to get my first one. Not intentional, actually. We just kind of did it random. Um, just with what they had available and it just happened to be New Year's Eve day that we got it done and then my husband was off for three days. So it's worked out really good. Um, since I do have a baby, I'm not supposed to lift him. So actually holding up my camera is like the heaviest thing I've lifted today. My husband did the dishes for me today. He has done so much to help me. So I'm very grateful for him, but I'm actually starting to get a migraine like about 30 minutes ago, I just started to have a migraine again, um, but I'm not worried because the symptoms that he told me to expect, some of them were like your normal symptoms, but getting worse, or just still having your normal symptoms, so I'm like not too worried, but um, it's just kind of weird, so we'll see if my ibuprofen actually works again, because seriously, like I take ibuprofen for my aches and pains occasionally, but like it just never seems to do that much, and every the other pain medicine just makes me sick um, to the point where it's just not worth it to take it. So, I'm feeling very hopeful. I feel terrible, but I'm feeling hopeful, and uh, I feel very helpless. Like, I can't do anything, but I'm hoping that we're in the point where it gets worse before it gets better, and then everything will be much better after this. So, I guess I'm going to try and sleep on it again. Uh, and hopefully we make it through this weekend. Okay, you guys, it is day three after my, oh, I guess two days after my, um, my, what is this called? My chiropractor <laughs> appointment. <laughs> my first, uh, upper cervical chiropractor. Um, and I tried to get some YouTube editing done. I have a exercise series going out that's starting Monday and by the time you see this it should already be out and ready and I had all my videos done I just had some last minute things to do but they ended up taking me way longer than planned so <laughs> I am really not feeling great I uh, I've got to go lay down so I'm gonna make this quick my neck is just so sore right now I have a massive headache. It's hard to keep my eyes open, open, and I am getting so fatigued and tired. I've kind of been up and down all day, um, but I'm definitely hitting a low point again today. So still feeling super sick after, um, and I think the neck soreness is getting worse, like upper neck or neck and upper shoulders, um, upper back, whatever it's called. Just all that area is getting really sore and. I tried to like sit upright the whole time I was editing um, and working on stuff on my computer because I said not to like, like I'm not going to do it, but lean forward like when you're reading a book or what most people do when they are like on their phone and stuff. So I tried really hard, but I'm still like not feeling good. So I am going to be done and lay down for the rest of the day. So now here we are about a month after my first appointment. I... It's been up and down a lot. I ended up having to get adjusted the first three times and then the fourth and fifth time I went, I was going twice a week. The fourth and fifth time I went, I didn't need to be adjusted, which is called holding, meaning um, my body was holding the correction. So basically every time I go in, it should be like this. If they've turned, he puts them back to where they need to be and then over time or if I like pick something up wrong or like I sleep weird, then they pop back out. Um, and then we have to readjust them because my body for the past 10 years has been used to sitting like this. So it keeps wanting to move that way. And so he has to keep realigning it. I really thought it was more like a, you're here and then every time we're gonna move it closer, but it's actually, they move it all the way back and then my body moves it to where it used to be. And then they move it all the way back and then my body relaxes and then over time, that happens less and less and less because you're kind of training your body to keep it in this correct spot that it doesn't want to be in. So I had a couple where I wasn't, 
or where I started holding and then I started not holding again and I got really frustrated and I thought what am I doing wrong I do have a baby so it can be kind of hard um, if you guys want a video about some of the things that um, my doctor has told me to do to help me hold or more information again just let me know in the comments I'm happy to share as much detail as you want to know um, or if I'm just this isn't making any sense leave me all the questions because there's just so much to it that maybe this makes no sense but then I after I was not holding a couple times I asked him like what can I do differently like am I doing something is it just my body and he said sometimes it's your body um, just naturally going back and sometimes you are doing something wrong and so he said most common is sleep and so I ended up buying a new pillow and I really think that's helping uh, my dog is drinking water below me sorry um, anyway so I got a new pillow and I started holding again. And so I'm really hopeful that if I keep doing the things they asked me to do as well as sleeping better and um, being really careful, but also uh, exercising and just doing all the things to help my body be healthy and heal, that I will be doing better soon. But it does not feel good to get adjusted. So the first few days, or the first few times I got adjusted, I shared some of those first few days and they were really bad. And then every time after that, it was not as bad as the first time, but still pretty bad. <laughs> I would still be really sick. And I always knew before I'd go in, I'd know because I'd get a really bad migraine um, right before, or I think probably right when I like knocked it out, I'd wake up with one. So that's why I'm pretty sure it was asleep because I'd wake up with just the worst migraine, like worse than even before um, I started doing these treatments. Okay, I think I need to take my puppy out. So we'll wrap this up. but. Um, my migraines would get worse and I knew I wasn't holding and then I'd go in and yep I wasn't holding and then I'd have to get adjusted and I wasn't able to lift anything for 24 hours so I had to have someone help me with my kids and it was just like anytime I get adjusted it is just the worst it just feels terrible and it makes me so sick like I just feel like I have the flu um, and it's just it does not feel good but the times where I am holding I actually feel a lot better I feel like my migraines are getting better um, he said that because it was always misaligned this shoulder was super tight which I've always felt I'd get I'd get massages all the time because of that and all my migraines come up from this one shoulder and I he would work on this shoulder a lot if I was holding he would um, do this it was like a big gun thing I think I might get one for myself um, to help massage my shoulders and relax them a little bit more but he would work on it a lot and then because of that would relax those muscles and then I would come out of alignment again so sometimes I came out is because of that um, but he said we have to do both like it might throw you out of alignment sometime but that's just how it goes we have to we have to relax those muscles and then we have to realign you and then it's just like a process to healing it's gonna take a while um, but I'm about a month in and that's kind of my update so far there's it's it's just it's hard to explain and I know I should have been probably doing like a weekly update because there's just so much that's been happening but because so much has been happening and because I've been just so sick with these treatments it's hard to get my camera out and talk to you so today I'm feeling really good we're about a month in but we'll see how the next little bit goes so if you have more questions about this treatment I'm going through um, specific for me or about chiropractors or upper cervical chiropractors at all let me know in the comments below and I will try to answer all those questions <sighs> man you guys that was a lot so hopefully you enjoyed this and I will see you guys next time